high value women, low value women, high value men, low value men. I feel like I've been seeing a lot of these topics online lately and there's this debate on what makes a person high value, what makes a person low value. Now, if you choose to interact in those kinds of conversations, that is your choice. Me personally, I just kind of see it, but I don't really engage because I feel that your self-worth is determined on how you feel about yourself, what you feel and think about yourself. So really, what everyone else is saying as far as what they feel is a high value and low value and judging people based off of very little information most of the time, it really means nothing because you place a value on yourself and everyone else will align to that according to how you show up in the world. So it really doesn't matter what other people are saying. It is about how you carry yourself and the energy that you are putting out. Now, if you're constantly looking for external validation, if you are doing certain things and then looking to the outside world to get approval, then that is kind of placing a lot of your, your self-worth on another person because you're not sure of yourself. You need someone to tell you that you are doing a good job. You need someone to tell you something about yourself because you don't know, you don't know it. You're searching for it. So I do think that it is very important to, whenever you feel triggered, you know, when there's stuff going outside and that, that is triggering you, I do think that it is important to kind of remove yourself, even if that means, you know, deactivating social media for a little bit, deleting the apps for a little bit, distancing yourself from certain people, and really taking a good look at yourself and using that time to, to work on your beliefs, to work on what it is that you believe about yourself, to level up, you know, read books, listen to good podcasts, uh, audio books, um, affirmations. Even till this day, I still sleep with affirmations. I just find it to be something that has really helped me in the past. So I def I'm, I really am a big believer on affirmations. But ultimately, I feel um, it has a lot to do with how you treat yourself and what you allow. Um, so boundaries are going to be something that is very important when you are trying to work on your self-worth. And sometimes that means having to let go of people who are no longer in alignment with the life that you're trying to live or the person that you are creating. Um, and I say this because a lot of the times we have allowed people into our lives whenever we have had no boundaries and really are just letting these people have their way um we also need to learn to say no i think no is such a powerful word and allowing yourself and giving yourself the permission to say no and not feeling like you are the bad guy or that you are selfish um i know a lot of the words are used very loosely and a lot of people are like oh you're a narcissist because you are thinking about yourself or you're selfish because you're thinking about yourself. So it's like I'm selfish because I'm thinking about myself and I'm doing something that you want to do. So it's like because you are not getting your way that makes me selfish. That doesn't make sense. And I feel like the way that you understand if something is crossing your boundary or if something feels like a no is, is really in your body how does that make you feel does that make you feel uncomfortable does that make you feel uneasy does that make you feel anxious your, our bodies say a lot about our boundaries um, and really honoring that is going to be important so learning to say no I made another video talking about boundaries, but I think boundaries, it is very important when it comes to building up your self-worth. So there are certain things that I feel are non-negotiables and you are going to know what your non-negotiables are. You know, everyone is different. Everyone has different beliefs. Everyone is different, a, live, a different life. So ultimately it's up to you to decide what is a non-negotiable. And again, I feel like that really 
comes back to how we feel in our body. But I feel that if it has been something that you feel was a non-negotiable or someone continuously overstepping your boundaries or you continuously having to explain yourself or tell other people how to treat you, I feel like it is a waste of time. You show them how to treat you. You don't tell them how to treat you. You show them how to treat you. Again, based on how you treat yourself. So if someone is coming around with BS, you already know that that's something that you don't put up with. It's not in alignment with who you are. So instead of telling them, well, you know, I don't think I should continue talking to you because I've told you about five times that this is not what I like or I don't like to be talked to in this way or you keep asking me about something when I've already said no like there has to be a point where you just stop stop trying to explain it's really a waste of time a waste of energy that's at least how I feel about it I'm not going to continuously tell you how to treat me I know how to treat me and if you cannot see that then we're just not for each other Another thing is sometimes as you start to raise your self-worth, as you start to level up, there's going to be people that try to come back into your life because they see you, they see where you're going, and again, it is up to you if you want to allow these people back into your life. But for me at least, when I decide to stop communication with someone or decide to cut someone out of my life, it is not a choice I made overnight. This is something that has been building up. So normally, for me at least, I can say that I spend some time really observing that person. And I do think it's important for you to kind of keep like a mental note of like certain things that they're doing that you're not okay with, that you don't agree with, and kind of observing that person. And a lot of dating has to do with, with assessing. You're not supposed to just jump into a relationship. I really don't believe to mention like the boyfriend and girlfriend thing, but that we can get into that in, in another video. I believe more in getting to know someone, courting someone. And I feel like this, this phase or this area is very important because this is when you're assessing if someone is in alignment with you or not. And if they're not, that's fine because there hasn't been that deep investment. You have not given all of yourself to this person. So reserving some parts of yourself is also important. And not just giving yourself completely to a person that you've just met. Um, really holding yourself accountable and practicing, practicing self-discipline stop being so easily available to someone and, and and i'm not saying like pretending i feel like we all should get to a point where we are so busy in our lives and we have so many things going on that we're not just sitting there waiting for someone you are just living your life so staying busy and not being so easily available for someone at all times Sometimes you will be and sometimes you won't. And it is not about playing games or pretending to be something that you're not. It really is about living a life that is fulfilling to you. It is about you. So why would you be so easily available to someone at all times at any time? And again, sometimes you'll be able to respond or reply or talk to someone because the times are aligning and that is good, you know, whatever. But then there'll be some times where you're busy and you won't be able to answer the phone right away. You won't be able to text back within 5-15 minutes, you know, because we are living life. Be so busy and consumed in the life that you want to create that you just don't have time to just give away because time is so valuable. What are you doing with your time? How are you spending your time? Are you really focusing on creating goals for yourself? What is it? Where do you want to be at in six months and one year and five years? Like, do you have these things in the back of your mind? Like, are you working towards that? There's no reason why you should just be laying around waiting for someone to come and you just being there as a form of entertainment. I don't have time to sit around and entertain people. 
as soon as I feel like I'm having to entertain people, as soon as I feel like that person is not putting in as much effort as I am, I start to lose interest. You know, it's just not, it's, it becomes boring. Why, why, what is this? This is boring. This is dry. Like, why would you want to continue with this? So, yeah. Another thing that I've been seeing a lot is, is a bunch of opinions, again, about what people feel this and that and high value and low value people. And a lot of the times, you know, men want to say that women that have children lose value or are lower value than other human beings. And I feel like the people that think these things are people that have a lot of trauma people that have not done work on themselves because a man or a person who is a conscious person a conscious man is going to have this deeper knowing and understanding that a woman who brings life into this world is a goddess it is the ultimate form of love to selflessly give your body to and to bring life into this world and also a lot of the qualities that make a woman a good mother will also make her a good wife there's this this deeper feeling of selflessness and nurturing loving caring understanding so i really don't think that other people's opinions should also be something that you take on allow people to feel however that want they want to feel at the end of the day that is not your reality that is not my reality the reality that you live in is the reality that you choose to accept. So how you feel and think about yourself again is what creates your reality. So do not don't don't even let the opinions of other people bother you. Cuz it truly means nothing. It means nothing. I don't even feel like whenever these topics are brought up, I don't even have the, the energy or convert, like, I don't even want to engage in conversation. I don't even want to debate much because it's just like, ah, whatever. You're not going to make someone else see your point of view if they're stuck on their point of view. Everyone has opinions. Everyone has different perspectives and that's theirs to live out. That's your life, honey live it how you want it i'm gonna live my life how i want to live it and i'm going to attract all of the things that i want to attract in my life and you have the right to do that do not let anyone tell you that that it's not possible because that's a bunch of bullshit. the person that determines the value of you is you self-worth is worth of self you determine that nobody else and as we learn to say no we'll learn to value our time a little bit more and we'll stop engaging with people who do not value our time and we'll see that and it'll become clear to us and be like, okay, this person is not putting in as much effort. They're not valuing my time as I value my time. Therefore, I will not continue to keep them in my life or whatever the case may be. However you choose to go about that is your choice. For me, if it gets to a point where I feel like I'm not wanted, if I feel disrespected if i feel like i'm being treated less than what i know that i deserve i choose to completely remove myself from that from that person i remove my energy completely and i move on with my life and sometimes these people might want to come back sometimes these people will show up again and that'll really test where you're at and how you feel about yourself for me personally, again, feel it in your body. If it's something that is like, no, I don't wanna continue dealing with this person, then you just continue to be on your way. But enforcing that is what is important. So even if someone wants to come back months, years later, I'm going to remember how you treated me. I'm going to remember how you made me feel. And honestly, for me, it's just, I, I just move on. Once I cut somebody off, I move on. There's nothing you can say or do to change that. And I will, you know, not be ugly about it. If, if I see that person, I will say hello or hi, whatever. But I'm not going to allow that person back into my life. So put people in different categories according how to they, how they are showing up in your life. So I was in this class and they use the analogy of an onion. You know how an onion has different layers? This is how we are. And 
there'll be certain people that you'll just kind of have to put on outer layers and then people that will have more access to you that'll be more of the inner layer because these are the people that are coming around more these are the people that are showing interest these are the people that are putting in effort these are the people that are showing the reciprocation and yes it does go both ways so when i mean like cutting people off or no longer speaking to someone it is because it is just not there so I feel like it is important for us to stop forcing things that are not really there and like telling people and forcing people and wanting people to see you or to value you or to tell you that you're worthy. Like you don't need any of that because you should already know that. You should already know that. The only person's opinion that matters here is yours. So if you know that to be true and you see someone showing up with, with less, then it's just going to be something that you just don't want to put your time into. There'll be absolutely no energy inside of your body to entertain that. So if it does come to that point, don't be afraid to walk away. Don't be afraid to lose people because this is just part of life. There'll be people that are for, you know, certain seasons of your life. People will come and then people will go and then you'll meet new people and you'll make more space and you'll change and grow and, and more people will come. So this is just part of the journey of our evolution. So be okay with losing people. So your worth is dependent on yourself and yourself only. How you show up in the world, how you treat yourself, how you feel about yourself, the boundaries that you're setting, the people that you are allowing in your life. How are you allowing people to treat you? How are you using your time? Really take time to look at your life and see where your time is being spent, where your time is going. Again, and it's not about playing games. It is about really living a life that is true and fulfilling to who you are not being so easily available for everyone at any time of the day what i mean what are you doing that you're so open and available to anyone you should not be doing that you should be more focused on yourself to, using your time to create to expand your mind to open up your heart to really be there for others as well it's about reciprocation and learning how to let people go when they're no longer in alignment with it, when things are no longer serving you do not be afraid because when we learn to let people go, we start to make room for, for new opportunities and new people and new things to come into our life. So I hope that this video was helpful in any way or that it resonated. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed. And if you feel called, please like, subscribe. I will see you guys in the future in another video.